So you take your wire. I don't care how long it is. You'll figure it out as you go roughly this long. Again, it's basically that. You turn it with the flat nose pliers 90 degrees. This is the body and this is the arm. Then you put this down and you need your round nose pliers. Please. Yes, thank you, ma'am. The round nose pliers are called that because it's shaped like a circle and it creates the circle in your jewelry. Every time you see a perfect little hoop, it's because of these pliers. You squeeze it at the bend. See, there's the body, the arm, then you reach over the top of the tool and you wrap the wire around the round nose pliers. Take it out and it should look like that. This you should see a million times in your life while making jewelry, okay? So it was on, it was on the top, switch it to the bottom. Now still that's the body, swing it over so it's the arm again, now it's the head. See that's the head, the body, the arm. Put the tool back in, wrap it around like a snake, coil around the body, it's constricting it. I wrap it as many times as you want, whatever looks good. Cut off the extra, take the flat pliers and pinch that end because it's sharp and it will hurt you. Now this can be your hook. I think this is too long for a hook. You don't. You can make that decision as you go, as you move up. Cut it about there. Then I'm going to do a praying head. I'm going to make a, a round little circle at the tip, and it's going to look like a head bowed down. I'm going to take the round nose pliers, and I'm going to use the very tip of it because I want a small circle, and I'm going to turn a head. And when I take that out, it looks like a praying man. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's a bowed head. Get it? See his head is bowed? See the circles ahead? Yeah. But it's, it's like this. He's like this. Now he's going to come up from prayer and he's going to do a back bend. So basically I'm going to take him and I'm going to bend him backwards. I and I can see. move this. Wait, I didn't see that. Your hands are blocked. Oh. So his, he gets backwards and there's your hook. This becomes the hook here. And this, you open up your jump rings by turning by opening them side to side. You have double, so I'm going to put them both on there. You can have a single jump ring at the end of your bracelet. And there's your clasp. If you want your clasp smaller, can I see your wrist? If you do it and it's too big, just take some links out. Perfect. Thank you. All right? Oh, um, that is a